What kind of popcorn am I making? Good question. The first one is going to be kale and nutritional yeast. Guys, I don't know. Honestly, I am very skeptical of this combination, but the picture looks so good, I'm willing to try it. Second flavor of popcorn I'm going to be making is peanut butter, and the third flavor is going to be coconut. So, <laughs> let's do it. If you don't love me, leave me. Told my jeweler one time, freeze me. Put some diamonds where my heart used to be. Racks on racks is all I ever need. The first thing I did is I got myself a, a large pot to pop my kernels in. Okay, it's on low heat right now. I'm just trying to get rid of the water from washing the pot. I have my kernels, no name brand, $2.99 at the Super Canadian Club, Canadian, Great Canadian, Great Canadian Club, I think it's called. <coughs> Savings, okay. I'm going to be popping my kernels in coconut oil, okay. And I have a smaller pot for melting the butter and the peanut butter. And then a pan with aluminum foil so that the popcorn can go into the oven as well. The first thing I did was wash and break apart a little bit of kale. Then I just lightly oiled it and I'm putting it into the oven. The goal is to have this really, really crispy so I can almost pulverize it so that it can go on top as a seasoning, not chunks of kale. So it's going into the oven. Probably for at least 20 minutes. Guys, please understand, I'm not following a recipe right now. I'm just going YOLO. So it's gonna turn out however it turns out. So in my first pot, now that it's hot enough, I am going to be melting the coconut oil. And in the second pot, a spoon of peanut butter. Mind you, the peanut butter is only on minimum and my coconut oil is on like four. I'm not really gonna measure how much kernels because I am making three different types of popcorn. So the goal is just to put enough so that the entire bottom of the pan is covered. This is actually getting kind of hot. Okay. And then add the lid. I'm gonna be using this bowl for all the popcorn when it's plain. And unfortunately, I don't really have a good selection of smaller bowls, so I'm gonna be using some Tupperware, obviously stained. If your Tupperware is not stained, you are not seasoning your food. Yes, yes sir. My Tupperware is yellow, sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. red. We eat good over here. Yes, sir. They haven't started popping yet, though, so I'm gonna check on my kale. It's not there yet. I'm putting it back in the oven for another five minutes. One thing I did want to mention, your pot lid should have a opening to allow the steam to be released or else you're gonna have a lot of pressure built up when you're popping those kernels. See, my first kernel just popped. I heard it, but it's so much condensation. <gasps> They're popping! So far, this is how much popcorn I've gotten. Okay, I did have to add a little bit more oil to try to get the other kernels to pop. So I'm gonna leave them to do that. In the meanwhile, look at my kale, okay? It's super crispy if you can hear that. Perfect. 
I'm going to be using the back of my measuring cup to pulverize the kale and turn it into as fine as possible, okay? Even with the pot being off, it's still hot enough to melt one spoon of butter and one spoon of coconut oil. I'm going to be putting it all over the popcorn. Remember, it's not hot, it's warm. You don't wanna weather the popcorn. Now, all of the popcorn that we have is covered in coconut oil and butter. So in this bowl, I have a small portion of popcorn. I'm going to be adding the kale, okay? And I'm going to use a little bit of my nutritional yeast, which gives it a cheesy flavor, okay? So you don't need to add any more of that. I've decided to add a little bit of cayenne pepper. I am going to add the lid. So the first thing I want to do is lie a little bit of popcorn onto the pan. Keep some in your bowl. Use the peanut butter now and just lightly. And then this is going into the oven. And the third bowl, which is coconut oil and butter. So there you have it. Yes, sir. 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 These are the kernels that didn't pop properly. I'm still gonna eat them anyways because I love the crunch. As long as they're somewhat opened, they're so good. Okay, so the most important part of the entire video is to taste this popcorn. So once again, here's the kale. Woo! I will add a little bit of salt, but it's actually so good, wow. Oh my god. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's really, really good. Holy. I can't believe how good that is. Okay, the peanut butter. Obviously, it's gonna be good. Oh my god. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm gonna be eating popcorn for like two days. This one I've already had a whole bunch of. I was eating it while I was deciding what to say next. This is bomb. <laughs> Please let me know what you think of these recipes whether or not you're gonna try them out yourself. Also, what is your favorite topping on popcorn? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Peace, love, prosperity.